Today, this is gonna be undergoing a major aesthetic transformation. What is up guys, welcome to Supercars of London down at MoTeC Performance where behind we have got Mike's BMW M4 competition. About five minutes ago, my Golf GTI was there. They've already stripped the keys from me and it is inside. There is so much going on today. I'm so excited to see the finished article of what my Golf GTI is gonna look like. But thinking back to the Nuke Spec Audi A1 and the BMW M3 that I had, imagine what a fully Nuke spec Golf GTI Mark 8 is gonna look like and we're gonna get that at the end of this video. Now, this is actually my second trip in two weeks up to the new Motec Performance HQ. Their last place was obviously where Liberty Walk Europe have now based themselves. I was up there three months ago, I think, having a look at the Liberty Walk Toyota Supra. But here is Motec's new HQ and the first time that I've put it on camera. So I'm gonna head inside the front door very, very soon to meet up with Mike. But first, let me take you around the Motec M4 competition because I think it looks super Super aggressive and those wheels right there work so well as silver and that is one of Motec's own custom wheels which we'll be talking about a little bit more in today's video. The Golf GTI is already inside so let's meet up with Mike, go on a little tour around this new super size Motec HQ and then have a look at the progress on the Golf GTI. Welcome, ring me. Hi, how's it going? Not bad, how are you? Very good, it smells lovely in here. I was actually just talking about the incense That's that you've been- That's the Next Reed Diffuser in New York. <laughs> we get asked that all the time. Really? Yeah, yeah, it's crazy. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Amazing. Next Reed Diffuser. Welcome to some bits yes. on the Golf. Yes. All because you put an Instagram post up. Yeah. I'll oh, pay attention, I'll see yeah. you all, don't worry about it. Before I even bought the car. Oh, uh, okay, did you know you were getting a Golf then? I didn't know, but it was kind of top three. Okay. And as soon as I saw Maxton Designs. Makes the kit look aggressive. Yeah, it makes the car just look, I don't know, much more meaner on the road. It gives it a bit more road presence. So actually. Especially on a black car, the kit being black. It yeah. It does work really well. Yeah. yeah. So yeah, this is where we've been here for a year now, but it's given us room to grow, which is obviously good for us because we're now getting into the wheel game. Yeah. So we have three styles of wheel, the MW1, two and three, bunch yeah. of wheels, one, two and three, which have really starting to become popular now about our second container in, so it's really Well, there's a Cooper just then for putting the, a set of wheels on. MW1, which is the same as on our 135i and 19 yeah. inch, which looks good. And the good thing is that, because it already came in 19s, use the original tires. Yeah. To do a swap over, so that look good. Um, working office, so you can edit it. What, so if I was coming up here and you were spending the day, yep. that is what you call working from home. Office. Home. Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah, yeah exactly. <laughs> so that works well. But I'll just run you around because what also is new is um, we have a detail back. Ooh. Yeah. So it's a lot bigger. We have a lot more this, room to this grow. Is, this is huge. There's a lot bigger. Loads of room, storage, and stuff like that. Um, so this is yeah. fairly new to me. Sorry, I was just having a look at all of the Max and Design stuff. That oh, got that's yeah, some stock. We keep yeah. basically um, M135, IM140, Mark 8 GTI, and M4 bits in as well. So don't keep too much in because every car's different. They offer so many different styles, yeah. which is good. You can tailor what you want. So it yeah. does work out quite well. So this is our detailing bay. We do a lot of, actually, you can have all your Max and parts detailed and coated beforehand, exhaust tail pipes, wheels. Um, and of course we do paint correction as well. So oh, this is our that. M240i with our MW3 wood onto it. Yeah. Oh. Yeah. There it That's is. The third wheel. Yeah, we do three stars. I like that one. That looks good, doesn't it? Doesn't yeah. it quite BMW, that one? You can, yeah, the whole yeah. One of this was to have something that's very factory. Yeah. And you may notice, if you look over there, your wheels are off your car. <laughs> yeah, they are indeed. Now, I know there's a sofa behind me, but I thought it would probably be a little bit nicer to be positioned here. Is it, do I just rip it? I just feel like I'm going to be... <laughs> this wheel is a very, very angular, aggressive wheel that I think is gonna sit in the wheel arches so well on the Golf GTI because the wheels that are currently on it, whilst I like them in that diamond cut, I wanted to get those wheels because when it comes to resale, it looks slightly better. But actually, it's a very flat face that because of where the wheels sit in the wheel arch, there are no spaces, therefore it doesn't really feel or bulk out the wheel arch. These, even though they're quite a flat facing wheel, they're very, very angular. Oh, Mike did not tell me. I would be here for a while. Ah, oh, there we go. Gloss black. We're going nuke spec. Sellotape to the bottom of the box. The Motec logo. 
But if I bring these wheels a lot closer, you can see as I move the wheel face, that's what you call it, you can see that the five spoke actually is super angular and the inside of the, or the sort of center of the wheel sits inwards. Therefore, it gives it more of a 3D dimension that when you're gonna be seeing the car from an angle, there is so much more character to the wheel. And I think this, with the Maxton kit combined, is gonna make my Golf GTI the best looking car on the road. Not the best looking car on the road. The best Mark 8 Golf GTI on the road is definitely not gonna be the best looking car on the road. Close though. I am stood here because we are about to give the Golf GTI its big reveal. Ladies and gentlemen, welcome to Nuke Nuke Spec on the Mark 8. This angle here is hands down my favorite angle. You have created <laughs> my favorite ever nuke. Oh really? This is better than the A1. Better than the A1. I think it's cooler than the M3. Much more usable than the M3. Mm -hmm. MPG's better. Oh, I know, I can't believe nearly 50 miles per gallon. <laughs> That's crazy. Um, yeah, this, you know, Max done now this kit really well. Their later kits are 3D scan, and as you can see, it just fits really, really well. Spoiler looks good, kit looks good, side skirts look good. And these wheels, <laughs> I'm a fan as you know, but the original wheel to me just didn't look aggressive enough for a GTI. It hid the caliper, didn't look right, but they were originally a 19 inch wheel. So on the 19s, the GTIs are slightly lower. It comes with a sports suspension. So if you order a car with 18 inch wheels, they're slightly higher. So this is about 15 mil drop than a car with 18s. Because we haven't lowered it. No, we haven't. Um, and we still could. <laughs> <laughs> but the good thing about obviously there is, you come with 19 inch wheels, this is just direct swap out. So obviously brand new wheel bolts and, and um, lockers. Use your original tire, no spaces needed, just swap them over. So if you've got a fairly new car, which most of these are brand new still, yep. just swap them over, lines up perfectly, and just looks a lot more aggressive, and they do need it. Yeah. The original wheel, like you said, with that Cooper just left us, they were just average. Yeah. You know, and you spend a big money on it, but yeah, I'm glad you're happy with the transformation. I it think it looks, really well. it looks so good. And I tell you what, this is probably the fastest transformation as well that I've seen. Oh, okay. We've been in and out in like, what, hour and a half, two yeah. hours maybe? This doesn't take particularly too long. Yeah, wheel swap over is a fairly easy job, and then the body kit is made for the car, so we're not having to fabricate or make it fit. Yeah. It is a front splitter for a Mark 8 GTI, so it does yeah. not work. Oh yeah, I'm so, so happy. These guys have absolutely smashed it. The Maxon Design Kit from the rear. That rear diffuser is a game changer. That little spoiler there, I think on the motorway is going to act as a bit of an air, air brake. It's, um, oh, it is just exactly how I would have wanted it to have looked from collecting it at Tony's. And now, exhaust next. Because if you come and have a look how puny those little pea shooters look, we're going to have a new exhaust system on the GTI as well, but Motec have smashed it. Head into the link in the description to check out the wheel range that these guys do, and also the Maxton design kits for the GTI. Could you try again? So frustrating. And then whilst I'm holding the camera as well, I'm like having to go like this. What a way to finish the video, Siri interrupting me. But yeah, these guys have absolutely smashed it. I will see you soon, guys. Mike. Welcome. Thank you very much. I'll see you soon for the next installment of the transformation of the Golf GTI. See you soon guys, take care, goodbye.